Hey guys, Lego Man 7777 doing my third review for the summer 2014 line and my last one as of right now so I can get some more stuff. It is the Ghost, which is again just like the Phantom from the new Star Wars, Star Wars Rebels show on Disney XD. So all this is brand new to me. I don't know what this is. And someone can tell me if you know, but. So, we got ages 9 to 14, 75053, the ghost, 929 pieces, and is $89.99, which is a pretty good deal. So, there you can see our minifigures and the Rebels box. And as you can see, I got this from Target. And here's the Rebel logo. The Sand Trooper. And on the back, what do we got? What do we got going on? We got a picture of it being chased by some TIE Fighters, some combination stuff, the people, some other stuff, the 10 billion features that you can do with this set, and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> So there's all of that. Now, as it is a bigger set, it does have two instruction booklets. So here's page 75. We're kind of just working on the body and stuff. And they changed the back of the instructions now. So there's this little robot dude on it. Just thought I'd mention that. So it's about winning stuff and yada yada yada. Okay, so I've got to find the last page. They don't even give you a last page. That's depressing. That's really depressing. They don't even give you a final digital model. Oh well. Well, this is it. This is the final page. Kind of a dumb digital model. But uh, 50 more pages, so it's 129 pages altogether. So a pretty long build, if you ask me. Alright, so let's get into our minifigures that we have in this set. So, our first minifigure, and they're all new, by the way. Our first minifigure is... Focus... Almost. Almost. There we go. Our first new minifigure is the brand new redesigned Stormtrooper. As you can see, he's got... I don't think he has a new body printing, but he definitely has new legs. No, and you can see they're asymmetrical, which is... I think that's cool. I think they might have a new body printing. Uh, same old rifle. New helmet design with the blue and it just it just looks different they reprinted it and he's got your standard clone trooper face which all clones have but I think he's a step up and I really can't tell you why he's in this set to be honest with you so our next minifigure is the rebel Kanan Jarvis I think that's how you pronounce his name. And uh, I have no idea who this guy is, but he's a pretty good looking minifigure. I guess he's a Jedi who also uses a blaster from time to time. That's about all I can tell you. Kind of looks like he's been out in the woods with his, with his gear on. He's got two different color arms. That's pretty cool. I, I dig it. I like his hairpiece. I just think that's a cool little touch that they gave him. So, he's got a pretty standard face. Um, on the back, there's the back printing, and he's got a double-sided head. So he's got a happier face, but uh, I don't really like that face. He, I think he has a different, he's got a new, or newer, colored face. Like, it's a different shading tan. 
So our next minifigure is a Twi'lek. Uh, what's her name? Hera Sindula. Excuse me. Can't I can't read. But she's a... I don't know. I guess she works with Kanan. But she's pretty nice. She's got a lot of detail. A lot of detail on her... On her leku. Her head tails. I think that's pretty cool. She's got some goggles. Got bright blue eyes with white pupils. That's that's kind of cool. And just normal detail. Does she have a double sided face? She does. So there's there's Hera. And last but not least, we got what's his name? Zeb Aurelios. And I don't know what he is, but he's, he, I like him. I like him because he's purple. So there he's got uh, back printing. And some leg printing and a cool torso that has purple arms, and I like that. I like the way his head looks, too. Good detail in his face. I don't know what weapon he's carrying, though. It's like a lightsaber with two... Blasters on. I don't know what he does with that. I'm not sure how that's effective as a weapon. But if I ever see the show, then he can. I'll find out. And then you get your standard brick separator with any large set. You know, they've been giving them out for a long time now. And like I'll show you later, spring loaded missiles. You get three of them in this set. So this is the extra one. Alright, so that's done with all the minifigures and whatnot. Now we can actually get into the ghost itself. So, let's see here if I can, if I can be, oh yeah, look at that, I can zoom in and stuff. So I guess we'll look at the top right now, right here. So this opens up. And you just take whoever you want to put in there, put them right in there, and there we go. Chilling. Now, can you see that? Yes, we can. So here, this Top Gun, it does spin 360, and these move up and down. So it's, it's got good, you know, range. There's a bottom cannon, too, that does this, and I will show you that in a little bit. But anyway, you can just pull this right out. And what the instructions say to do is you just hold this off. So you take this part off. And then you take our, our boy Zeb here. And you can't see what I'm doing, but put Zeb like this. And then you're just supposed to fit his head in there, which is a bit of a difficult process. But there, he's in there now. And then we just pop that right in there. So now we got two of the four people chilling in spots. So Zeb is doing his job and Harris co-piloting, I guess. So this does open. This opens. And on the inside, which I will show you like this, I don't know if we can see what I'm doing. Okay, we can. As you saw, there's two little hinges and uh, like a small square area. It's a four by four area. And you can basically, you can just store whatever you want in there. Extra storage, that's always nice to have. Um, they have one of those back here too, but this goes to a different thing and we didn't get to that far yet. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. So, what else is there to do in this general area? Well, you can open this up, and there's storage there. Can I? Can we see what I'm doing? Kinda. And this is I just slide, you know, one of the weapons in there, and close that. And I do the same for the other side. But this side has this little piece where I take his, his lightsaber 
and his blaster and I put those like this and I just put this piece right back where it was and you didn't really see that but I'll tilt it like this and I can lovely dovely and I take Hera's little pistol too and I just put that there you don't have to and I'm sure you could put it right here but uh, whatever I don't really feel like it I thought of my way all right so now that we've uh, looked at all kinds of stuff zoom out a little bit so we can see the front more so now right here you can take this whole cockpit piece out and this is where this is where I like to put Kanan and he he does his thing you can see there's some sticker detail right there um, you can actually put two people there but I don't have another person to put there so if you want to look inside while we're right here there is this little spinning blaster right here and it moves up and down and spins and all that fun stuff but what you do is you just slide this back in and at the end of this chamber if you do it right you should hear a click but I don't hear a click I must be dumb hang on there we go now it clicked so there now all of them are inside of the ghost and this this really isn't a thing but you can take that off just so I can show you better look at the cockpit like as a whole but that's that's just a piece that's actually just supposed to stay on there so if I bring the ghost a little closer you can see the sticker detail right there and there's our other people and there's some sticker detail right there and on the other side and we'll get to that right now now these pull out just like the frigate and other similar sets as escape pods and you just lift this up and there you have a little escape pod and that's just where I shove the stormtrooper because I have no better place to put him he doesn't he doesn't fit in the set but he's in it so that's just where I store him and on the other side you can do the same thing so you have two escape pods and they just slide right back in and there you go clickety clickety so there's all of that I've done a lot of stuff looked at a lot of Man, this, this is a fun build, by the way. I just remembered that. It, um, it's been a long time since I built a bigger set like this. And I was, I was like, hmm, this could be a boring build. You know, a lot of Technic stuff. But no, there's a lot of interesting things. And speaking, I just went out and got this because I had some money. I was like, hmm, I have no idea what to expect about this set. However, we're going to look over that now. But now we're going to go to the back, and this part I opened up earlier. I'm going to open it up again, just so you can see those little doors, which will feature in a little bit. Technically uses these doors, but they're a little small for what we're using them. But you can open them and go inside the ship if you want to. So there's that. Here we got our engines. They don't actually do anything, but they're there because they need to be. And here's the other two engines down there. There's a sticker detail right there. All right. So now we've gotten a good look at the ghost itself. But there's still another feature that I do want to show, and I always forget that it's a thing. So on the other underside, you see that little red lever, and if you pull this little red lever, 
this hatch falls down. And in this little hatch, in this tiny little hatch, and I broke something, lovely, you have a tiny crate, and like most crates nowadays in Star Wars sets, you get a holocron. So they're continuing that, so apparently that's something in the show that they need this holocron for some something. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up like this, which is not a smart idea, but just to show you how to put this in. A little slot right here, and you push this, and then you push this lever back in. And then it sticks, and there you go. And I guess what we're looking at, it here's a view of the other side. Wow, it can actually balance by itself. That's kind of cool, because my hands are right here. Um, what does that look like? I mean, that's kind of a cool shot to look at. So, the last feature, other than like the cool looking building techniques that you can see, is uh, the missiles. And just like all the missiles, you take them and you go, <laughs> kapow, and you shoot, and there we go, and there's the missiles. So it's not, it's not a set unless you have, unless you have missiles ready. Just make sure, okay, I didn't lose anything. So, there's all that lovey-dovey stuff. And that's pretty much it for the ghost like function wise, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Um, the last thing, feature wise, it involves our, the other set, 75048, the Phantom. And this area right here, they actually made it to where the Phantom just slides in and sits on the Ghost. And that's, that's pretty cool if you ask me that they incorporated probably something from the TV show into two different sets. So here's how it look, you know, actually flying and stuff with the Phantom connected. I just think that's really cool. They actually sell a multi-pack. I think it's 66512 is the number. If you want to go look that up. It's it's this set and the Phantom together in like a cool pack. I was going to get it at Toys R Us, but no one has the cool pack. So Whatever. However, that is it for the ghost itself. I'm going to do a comparison, but there's. I just wanted to show this sticker detail because there is some detail down there. I that must be the new rebel sign or something. Um, and I didn't mention in it, but this is not a printed piece. That is also a sticker. So, comparison. What what are we going to compare to the ghost? Well, I picked another set that is similar. Well, that's the same price as the Ghost. So this was another $90 set that came out a couple of years ago. It is the Sith Interceptor, which was the Old Republic stuff. And, um, okay, so let's, let's look at this. I was going to say something and I forgot what I was going to say, so whatever. Overall, the Ghost is longer and taller than the Sith Interceptor, but the Sith Interceptor is wider as a, as a whole. But it's not taller when you, when you do the whole wing thing with the Sith Interceptor. Then it's, then it's this tall, it's actually taller, but just the wing part is. So there's that. Um, like I said, they're both priced at $89.99. The Sith Interceptor is really hard to find nowadays. I think you can only get it at Toys R Us and it's like $110 there. So that's ridiculous. But anyway, that's that's a whole different story. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I was going to say, the Sith Interceptor did only have 789 pieces, where this one has 929 so, you know, if it's ever a toss-up, hey, do I get this set or this one, I'd go for the Ghost here because it's a, it's better priced for the piece count. 
So you, it's worth more. You know, you get you get your money's worth out of it. So that's just a quick comparison. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the Ghost. Uh, I didn't have any expectations for this set because I've been out of the loop for a while. However, I do really enjoy this set. Um, out of the three I have, this one's my favorite. Not because it's the biggest one. I actually have a personal favorite in the Wave, but I don't own it yet. And there's just there's still some other sets I want to look at, like in my position, like when I actually own them and compare them before I can say which set is the best one in the wave in my opinion. But this set is really good and I do recommend it. If you have the money, I would say go get this set if you you know, if you think it it's got a cool design, it's different, it's it might be made by the same manufacturer as the Millennium Falcon, because it's kinda got that body shape. Just, you know, if you added the Millennium Falcon here, then there you go. But, um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment and all that fun stuff. And stay tuned for when I get other sets to review. See you guys later.